Okay, hello, hello, Tyler Brighton here. Very exciting moment in, I would say, the history of technology, the history of artificial intelligence, specifically generative AI. That is the release of Stable Diffusion, the public release. And then with that um, also comes um, Dream Studio. So I'm gonna try to tackle both of these quickly in a video. This is just uh, literally happened now. There was a, a 2 p.m. If I go down a little bit on these, it was sort of a countdown over the last few days. And then uh, apparently a little bit of a spell check at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everyone's sort of waiting, very excited. And then uh, finally, uh, about 12 minutes ago, just after two, pretty close on the timeline, I would say, for a big release like this, they uh, officially uh, sort of announced a public open source release. And then you've also got this Dream Studio. So let's take a quick look uh, here uh, at the actual Stable Diffusion public release. And then um, I'll talk about the Dream Studio uh, as well. But uh, obviously a lot of excitement around this. Interestingly, at the top, um, you know, talking about this as being a safe, ethical release, um, lots of opportunities for misinformation and, and negative use of technology that's powerful. And so they worked with the team at Hugging Face um, to uh, make sure that they did their best to address that. And I'm sure there's going to be a ton of edge cases. I'm sure a lot is going to pop up, but I think generally people are have a lot of respect for the way that they're doing this and are, um, you know, excited for uh, you know, an attempt to do this in the right way. And uh, a couple other things, of course, Hugging Face. So um, the model is being released under our Creative ML Open URL license. I got too many links open here already. And I, well, yeah, so here we go. We've got the actual uh, license here. So what that means is it is for commercial and non-commercial use and then focus on ethical and legal. Makes sense. But um, the fact that it is available for commercial use is uh, pretty massive. Uh, originally in the beta releases of some of these image generation platforms, Dali I'm thinking of specifically, you are not capable uh, of doing that. So um, here we are with, uh, you know, a big change in the be able to do uh, commercial releases. And so if you create an image that is yours, you can make money off it. Uh, that's a very powerful thing and lots of challenges around, you know, if this was trained on data created by artists and other images, how what is the responsibility of IP and all this stuff? I'm not going to get into that today. I think that's a very deep issue and outside of me. I'm just celebrating that this is actually uh, released. So what's the crazy part is, is and there's a statement here, if I can find it. Uh, I think it's in this article, Humanity. This is released as the culmination of many hours of collective effort to create a single file that compresses the visual information of humanity into a few gigabytes. That is absolutely insane. Uh, there are rumors of um, audio and video versions of this coming, and I've seen some stuff floating on Twitter already sort of foreshadowing this. Um, so I think we're in just an incredible... Uh, time. I keep saying that, but I can't help it. Uh, I, I'm overwhelmed by the what I'm seeing, the output of this, the enthusiasm around it, the incredible um, expertise that's being applied. And uh, I think we're going to see, like, I don't think we're even fully understanding of the consequences of this release uh, yet. So huge, huge uh, moment in time uh, for technology. Uh, couple uh, things that are noticeable. So there's definitely a close collaboration with uh, Hugging Face. So I think I have a Hugging Face uh, piece here. All of this is linked, so don't worry. You're gonna have all these as resources in this video and on this website if you're reading this on the website. Uh, we've also got, I don't know, where did this come from? I've got a uh, collab, which then, uh, oh yeah, okay, beautiful collab. So literally you can hit play, 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 and then you can start to uh, gem generate images um, here. So prompt, there we go, beautiful. So like. Ooh, uh, I'm excited. Already so much potential and people, you know, I'm, I, I think of myself at a very simple periphery edge of this just because of my own time. I, I think some, some understanding of it and then also my own uh, ability to applicate, uh, apply prompts, you know, looking at um, the, the Dali prompt guide, which I shared. So prompt engineering, prompt design, um, you know, I'm continuing to refine that skill set so I can get the images of it. And if you just see the DMT video that I made where I try to do image repl uh, replications, you see I've got a way uh, to go on that. A couple uh, other things that sort of stick out from this are this uh, um, the recommended model weights are in here. Um, it can run, uh, and then we've also got basically what's what's interesting is uh, Nvidia. Uh, um, uh, so it's currently recommended that do those are the actual chips that are used. And you can see that in the, in the Google Collab that it's an NVIDIA chip. So that was interesting, but there's going to be further optimized versions of this model along with other variants and architectures that improve the performance uh, and the quality. And overall, this is an incredible, like exciting collaborations between the researchers. So Stability AI, I've got Runaway ML, LMU Munich, Luther AI, 
and Elion, Elion, I don't know if you actually, people, I've never actually heard it pronounced, I've only read it. So we've got a couple links here, a, a Discord channel uh, that you can see. I have that's launched in, so you're not gonna be able to see too much in here. So that was really the uh, release. I mean, there's gonna be uh, just an uh, exponential increase of this uh, coming out here. And then what they've done even further is then release this uh, into uh, 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 basically a visual interface that allows you to interact with it. And I think this is a credible, uh, God damn, I gotta stop saying incredible, uh, democratization of this technology that allows you to maybe not have the full technical knowledge or wanting to work more through an intuitive interface to basically be able to, um, you know, create images. And what's interesting is this, you know, has to me uh, memories or remnants of um, what DALI does in the beta. Um, and I think this is, uh, you know, this is going to be c continued uh, democratization. I'm going to hit uh, just the one that is a pre prompt there so we can see the output and what's actually happening. I haven't done this yet. Uh, wow. Uh, all right. Okay. And then there are modifications that you can make uh, to scale up. Oh, interesting. Size, height, um, steps. Okay. So you can get. Um, so right now I've only generated it. Oh, so simple, right? So now if I want to do the same thing and I want to do three images and say I want to go to, I mean, what's the biggest output I can get? 10, 20, yeah, so I'm going to do three. How many steps? Let's go a little higher on that. And then we've got a couple different uh, um, uh, samplers here, the diffusion sampling method. Interesting. So this is getting uh, yeah super simple on this. We've obviously got a little bit more time to wait um, for this one. You can see the countdown, which is very intuitive because sometimes you're just sitting there <laughs> waiting. You're like, what the hell's uh, going on? Let's see if I can pop open this frequently asked questions while we do it. Um, and then I've increased the height with, so it's going to be a bigger image. So obviously a little bit more work on that side and then the number of images. So we should get three outputs here. Um, I have uh, some basically uh, frequently asked questions on Dream Studio that they have nicely um, put on. Um, how do I upscale? There's no uh, native upscale or interesting. So yes, this is fascinating. Basically, because you can't, you know, necessarily make this bigger um, uh, than uh, they're using. Basically, recommending other service services to then increase the scale of the image and they've even given you a couple examples i would like some hyperlinks give me some hyperlinks there um but i'll uh um there we go i'll just click one as a resource i'll link these other ones as resources in here you can see i got a lot of tabs going right now so uh, i'll include all these hopefully it's not uh too overwhelming and then you've got compute costs and generation counts and everything um as well they actually do uh have you know some other frequently asked questions around sharing inviting other people all fantastic stuff here we go dream studio Dream of Distant Galaxy. I don't know who this is, but obviously and probably an incredible artist. And then we've got three variations and uh, these variations should be at a larger size here. Now, let me just see if I can pop this up and confirm. Uh, too many, don't wanna have too much uh, sensitive data there, apologies. Let's take, I take a quick look. Properties, one point, so 1.9 megabytes, fantastic, and 1024 by 1024 pixels. So you're at a pretty high size uh, with that already. You're you know capable of sharing this directly on social media or doing whatever you want to do with it. Uh, incredible democratization of this technology. I said incredible again, uh, but here I am uh, gushing over this. Um, I really, truly believe that this is just, just a, it's, I, I feel, in the presence of of, of almost like a, it's that's hard to say this, but like some sort of God force that this is now possible. And I think that's a maybe even a scary thing that I, I feel that way, but I know that other people must with just this raw power of creativity now available. Um, I just think it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely insane. And uh, I can't wait to see uh, what comes out of this. So I'm not gonna spend too much more uh, time on this. There's a bunch of great links on this page for you to check out or on this uh, video and, and below on the, on the website. And uh, I truly encourage you to check this out. If you've been interested in it already or if you're you know, just getting interested now, this is something to pay attention to. It's gonna have massive ramifications on us on our sort of future as, as people, especially as we not just diversify from images, but into audio, into video. Uh, we've already seen a proliferation of this with text. Uh, this is a huge life-changing, world-changing release um, from Stability AI. Appreciate all the work that all the teams have done on this. And 
Uh, just very, very excited to see what comes. Thank you very much for checking this out. This has been Tyler Bryden. I love covering this stuff. I have a bunch of other videos on DALI. And, the, and as I would class my, myself as an explorer, as a curious commentator, narrator, following along, trying to amplify the message of some of these things, still needing to dedicate more time myself and trying to find the path to doing that. But uh, here I am completely enthusiastic, probably if as you are if you're here watching this video and i wish you all the well on your experimentations and journeys with stable diffusion and dream studio uh, uh it's an amazing time to be alive thank you